Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to record electric guitar direct in Cubase 12 and use the effects to make it sound like it was running through a guitar amp. This process allows us to adjust the guitar amp sound as much as we want without having to redo the recording since we can't change the amp settings after a real amp is recorded. <laughs> There's two main amp simulator plugins we can choose from in Cubase 12. They're found in the inserts rack of the mix console under the distortion menu. The first one is amp simulator and the second is a VST amp rack. The amp simulator is available in all versions of Cubase, whereas the VST amp rack is only available in Cubase Elements, Artist, and Pro versions. All we're doing to add these is selecting them from the inserts rack and then we can open the window for it. At the top, we have a drop-down menu that controls the different presets for the amplifier, and some are made to be based on different artists or songs. Then on the amp itself, the first drop-down is for the type of amp, and the second is for the type of cabinet, which will change our sound. Each amp will have controls for drive, which is the gain or distortion, bass, mid, treble, and presence EQ, and volume. The cabinet simulation will have high and low damping. Next, let's go over the VST Amp Rack plugin. Similarly, we have presets at the top menu for different tones. Along the top of the amp, we can use the tabs for pre-effects, amplifiers, cabinets, post-effects, microphones, configuration, and master. Pre-effects are applied before the amplifier, like we would use for distortion or overdrive effects in a real guitar setup. For effects, we have wah-wah, volume, compressor, limiter, maximizer, chorus, phaser, flanger, tremolo, octaver, delay, tape delay, tape ducking delay, overdrive, buzz, gate, equalizer, and reverb. For each of the effects, we have knobs to control how they affect the sound, but also we have to make sure we press the button to turn on the effect, like as if it were a real stomp box for a guitar. Next are the amplifiers. We have Plexi, Plexi Lead, Diamond, Blackface, Tweed, Deluxe, and British Custom.
Like the last plugin, all the amps have gain, bass, middle, treble, presence, and master controls. Next, we can select a cabinet with different speaker configurations from 1x12 to 4x10 and 4x12. We can also match the amplifier to the cabinet or switch them up. The post effects are applied after the amplifier like if we had an effects loop in our amp chain. The microphone tab lets us choose between a condenser and dynamic microphone or use both with a mix adjustment. The red circle allows us to adjust the position of the microphone against the cabinet as that will adjust the tone of the sound based on the angle and the proximity effect. Configuration lets us choose between a mono and stereo setup, and a lot of our effects, especially if they are the post effects, can be set up as stereo. The master panel gives us a master equalizer and volume level, as well as a guitar tuner. Just before we finish up, let's go back to our effects, and then we can hear a little bit of a demonstration of how each of the controls work to affect our sound.
Thanks for checking out this video on recording direct electric guitar and simulating an amplifier with processing and Cubase 12. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.